Hello everyone, welcome to this course on discrete mathematics and today we are going to consider about aspects of probability and counting. Well, counting seems to be very simple as if you are counting the number of things in a list. Well, as we move on, we will see there are a lot of other aspects involved in counting. Say for example, uh, we do have uh, something called product rule that in fact uh, gives us the combination of things. For example, if there are n ways to do task 1 and uh, if there is n 1 ways to do task 1 and if there is n 2 ways to do task 2, you can see this is a combination of two different things and for two different items and that is why we call it as a multiplication factor. So, there are n 1 times n 2 ways to do both tasks in sequence. So, generally speaking about counting, counting is just as if you count the number of elements, but as we combine with uh, different aspects, it comes to be either arithmetic oriented or multiplicative. Sometimes you add things up, sometimes you multiply things up in the list and you start to count. As if like uh, there are three subjects and you are going to take different courses in a semester of these three different uh, subjects. Of course, this is kind of direct application of counting. You have to count just three courses. Rather, if you think about other applications, say you have you are going for a restaurant and you have a different menu. In other words, different options that you have to eat. So, what are the different uh, combinations that you can come up with? Maybe there are like uh, you have uh, appetizer, you have the main menu, uh, you have uh, dessert, you have drinks and every category has say five different options. Then again, in choosing each one, you have to form a combination. That is something similar to the multiplication rule. Let us go uh, deep into it. So, we have a procedure to apply this kind of product rule and it is kind of an and uh, choice. So, we must choose, you have one choice and the second choice. You have first choice done and the second choice is done. It is something like you choose the appetizer, you do choose the meal and then you choose the dessert, you choose the drink, something similar to that. So, if there is n 1 tasks or n 1 ways to do task 1 and n 2 ways to do task 2, it is as if you are saying n 1 times n 2 ways to do both tasks. So, let us say simple questions here. Uh, there are 18 math majors and uh, 3 25 CS major. So, how many ways there are to pick one math major and one CS major? Well, that is uh, just the combination. Yes, there are different ways, right? So, 18 times 3, 25 ways of picking it. And more examples on that. Say, for example, you have a, a 4 digit and we are going to represent this. How many ways to uh, have this string of 4 decimal digit? This do not contain the same digit twice. That is one of the rules that we have for this particular example. And we want to choose a digit, then another that is not the same and then another one, right. So, we do not want to have the same digit twice. The first digit has 10 possibilities because 0 to 9 and when you go to the second digit, you cannot choose the same digit twice. So, you have 9 possibility and when you go for the third digit, you have 8 possibility because you cannot choose 2 uh, digits again, the same digits are excluded. So, as you progress, you have fourth digit have seven possibilities and so on. So, since you are talking about uh, only four digits, we just stop uh, after four digits. So, it is 10 times, 9 times, 8 times, 7. Well, then end with even digits. So, the question is how many strings of four digits? digital decimal digits that end with even digits. 
So, first three digits have 10 possibilities and again the last digit have 5 possibilities. So, that is the same questions this is uh, with a given condition how many string of 4 decimal digits from which you can have end with an even digits that is the B question that we have. So, this is an example. So, that is where we have 10 times 10 times 5. First three digits have 10 possibilities of uh, even digit. We have just talked about even digits and the last digit have 5 possibilities. Let us talk about the sum rule. If there are n ways to do task 1 and n 2 ways to do task 2. So, we call this as a simple addition rule or sum rule. If these tasks can be done at the same time, then you have n 1 plus n 2 ways to do the task. So, let us uh, choose this as this is this is kind of a choice, but it is like one choice or the other choice. In the previous one we saw that one choice and the other choice, the second choice, the first choice and the second choice. Here we have one choice or the second choice. So, that is why we give this uh, sum rule. Let us see some examples here. You have again 18 math major course and 325 CS major courses are there. So, the question is how many ways are there to pick one math major or one CS major? It is one math major or one CS major, not and. Well, since we have the or case here, so that is the simple addition 18 plus 325 that is 343 ways to pick one math major or one CS major. That is quite simple. Let us talk about the same question that we had. How many strings of 4 digits can be formed? How exactly 3 digits that are 9s? Have exactly 3 digits that are 9s. So, let us say uh, strings can have non 9 digits as first digit or the 9 non 9 as the second digit or 9 and non 9 as the third digits or non 9 as the fourth digit. So, we just talk about 4 digits. So, we have this sum rule in this case for each of these cases there are 9 possibilities for the non 9 digits any number other than 9. Yes, that is the string that we talk about here. So, that is we have 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 possibilities of having a 4 digit because we do not we always look for a non 9 digit and there are 9 possibilities of picking up a non 9 digits and we need 4 digits that is that is it 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 36. Let us go on to this more complex uh, counting problems. Uh, we combine the product rule and sum rule combination of both product and sum. So, that is where the complexity comes in. Uh, we can solve more interesting problems as well in this. Let us say you are uh, going to have a wedding picture as an example here and in when you take the wedding pictures you have a bride, you have bridegroom, you have friends and you have the number of people. So, let us talk about their uh, combinations here. Consider a wedding picture of 6 people and there are 10 people including the bride and bridegroom. So, we can only have 6 person for the wedding picture, but there are 10 people including the bride and bridegroom. So, how many possibilities are there if the bride must be in the picture? So, here we assume that bride should be there in the picture and with that how many possibilities do we have. So, if we can go for the product rule place the bride and then place the rest of the party in the picture. Well, list once you place the bride you have the option of placing only 5 other people. So, we can do uh, you can do this math like uh, first you can place the bride and uh, she can be in any of the 6 positions in the picture and next you are to going to place the 5 people by means of the product rule. So, there are 9 people to choose from the second for the second person. 
and eight people for the third person and there are seven, pers seven persons from which you have to pick the second person and so on. So you can see how the product rule has been applied here. So there are nine times eight times seven times six times five. So in fact you have 15,120 different possibilities just for this simple picture. That's incredible. The product rule yields as six times uh, 15,120, that is 90,720 possibilities. Well, in fact, uh, because we already fixed the bride as one position in the past, in the, in the previous slide, so it becomes a little bit easier. Let's consider a wedding picture of six person. There are 10 people including the bride and bridegroom. So how many possibilities are there if bride and bridegroom must be in the picture? So now you have two persons, you are fixing the two persons as of now and you have to choose the remaining ones from that, per, that people that we have. So place the bride and bridegroom and then place the rest of the party. So first you just place the bride and bridegroom in the picture and uh, she can be in any one of the six position and he can be in one among these five remaining positions. So what possibilities do we have for them alone like six times five, 30 possibilities. Once we come up with those possibilities, next we can go for the remaining four people via the product rule. Again, you have to choose four persons from the remaining eight persons because initially we had ten including the bride and bridegroom. So we have chosen two like bride and bridegroom is already there with the different possibilities. Then there are only eight remaining. Among the eight you have to choose four person. So from eight person you choose the third person, from seven person you choose the fourth person and so on. So likewise, it, it goes on like this, 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. And then if you consider this 30 possibilities, along with th these uh, 4 remaining people, then it is like 50,400 possible places where they can stay. So that seems to be quite complicated because we are having a different uh, combinations. Again here, how many possibilities are there if only one of bride and bridegroom are in the picture? So we, we know that by some rule plays only bride or only price, uh, the groom. And by product rule, place the bride and then place the rest of the party. That is what we did. First we place the bride and she can be in any of the six positions. Next we place the other five people by means of product rule. So we have just seen that and uh, there are eight persons to choose from for the second person, seven for the third and so on. So in that instance we cannot choose the groom. So since we are excluding the groom, this condition is given to you is that only we can choose bride if only one of the bride and bridegroom can be in the picture. So that is why we can choose only the remaining five persons from the eight persons because the groom is excluded here. So product rule reveals that you have 40,320 possibilities or only groom again the same possibilities. So now we are talking about different uh, perspectives and different combinations of uh, yielding the results. So if you just use the sum rule for bride and bridegroom separately, we have calculated the possibilities. Now we can add up. In fact, uh, if you go on for alternate means to get the answer, how many possibilities are there if only one of bride and bridegroom are in the picture? So you can go for like two ways 
to place the bride with or without groom. We know 90,720 which we have seen earlier and two ways for both bride and bridegroom that is 50,400 we have seen earlier in the slides and total ways to place only bride is 90,720 minus 50,400 that is 40,320 and does this sound similar yeah that is the same number for the groom we just arrived the same so the total of having the for the bride and groom would be 80,640 let us talk about this inclusive exclusive examples so inclusive and exclusive is uh, quite uh, quite a principle because uh, at times people get confused with this inclusive and exclusive principle especially when they talk about years when we when you talk about the years they often confuse with the ordinal and cardinal numbers uh, say for example uh, if you want to count the number of years from 1970 to 2000 1970 to 2000 seems to be only 30 years but if you include the year 1917 as well as 1970 as well as now 2000 the answer might be different you can you are talking about 31 then so let us see here when counting the possibilities we cannot include a given outcome more than once say here you have a1 union a2 equals a1 plus a2 minus a1 intersection a2 this principle can be proved actually we can prove it and show that how this can be done say for example a1 have 5 elements and a2 have 3 elements and one element is common for both a1 and a2 so total is 5 plus 3 that is a1 plus a2 and common element should be subtracted so minus a1 instruction a2 that is minus 1 so that is 7 not 8 yes at times when you include things things will be different as i told you from 1970 to 2000 when you include all things will be different when you exclude if you exclude 1917 and 2000 then your value will be different probably 29 so yeah so at times we have to be cautious of how we use the numbers how may how many bit string of length 8 start with 1 or end with 0 0 so that is the question here let us uh, say here uh, count bit string that starts with 1 the rest of bit can be anything like say for example you are trying to count the bit string that starts with 1 you have 1 you have 1 0 you have 1 0 0 you have 1 0 0 0 it can be even 1 1 because you are talking about counting the bit string that starts with 1 so here in this example we have 2 power 7 that is 128 rest of the bits can be anything that is 128 and the bit string that starts with 00, 0 or it ends with 00, 0 the next part again 100 0, 0, the ends with 00, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 0, 0, 0, 0, and so on that is 2 power 6 a2 and uh, count bit string that both starts with 1 and ends with 10 that is what we just see uh, like 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 maybe I should have given you a different uh, example for the first one say for example for this first one you could still have uh, say 1 could be an example 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 all things starts with bit string 1 for this one that ends with 0 0 yeah 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 could be part of that as well but now we are talking about both cases 1 and 0 0 the starts with 1 and ends with 0 0 so that would be 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 and so on 
well with this thought uh, you can also use this formula to uh, find how it fits the need here. So, 128 plus 64 minus 32 that is 160 uh, bit strings. So, bit string possibilities again how many bit strings of length 10 contains either 5 successive, successive zeros or 5 consecutive ones. So, consider 5 consecutive zeros first uh, say you have some rule 5 consecutive zeros can start at position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, these are the positions of the bit and again let us starting at one position you have 5 bits can be anything because here considering 5 consecutive zeros first. And again first bit must be 1 otherwise we can include possibility of uh, previous case in this example. The remaining bit can be either anything like uh, 2 power 4 16. So, starting at position 2 the first bit must be 1 and again starting at position 3 the first bit must be 1. So, starting at position 4 and 5 the same starting at position 3 or 2. So, we have 16 each. So, again you can go along and check it out 32 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 and so on. So, initially the starting position of 1 and uh, you can see how it happened the whole thing. So, if you want to look at how things might work out you can check it out like uh, you are talking about 5 zeros, we are talking about 5 consecutive zeros and these are the positions at which it is. Say for example, this is 2 power 5, this is 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4 and 2 power 5. So, that is how things would work out. So, 5 consecutive ones follows the same pattern and has 1 1 2 possibilities here. So, here is uh, some examples that you can look at. Tree diagram and tree diagram is one of the interesting features of uh, the whole uh, structures. If you want to consider the possibilities you can always use the tree diagram to analyze it. Say for example, uh, you can use the tree diagram to enumerate the possible uh, choices that you have. Uh, say for example, uh, something like uh, you can always go for possible number of uh, choices that is or with us. Something similar to the structures, structures of a tree. So, here is an example use tree diagram to find the number of bit strings of length 4 with no consecutive zeros. So, you can look at this uh, examples where you have starting with 1 and 0 and this is been split up the first bit. The second bit again you have other possible uh, combinations are coming up. So, with this several combinations you can always go ahead and uh, try to figure out how these trees can really help us to provide the combinations because in every branch that you have here you have 1 and 0. For example, every time you have a left branch it is always 1. So, it is whatever you have the right it is always 0. So, it is kind of an evenly balanced tree that we have here and this example just we use the binary bits as an example. So, it is quite easy for us to understand not necessarily the same thing can be used even you can refer a similar example with the different uh, applications. It can be of say for example, you have uh, three candidate Alice, Bob say Dan and uh, these are the candidates say A, B, D 
and they have different options say they can take uh, say math course cs course cs course math course cs course again they can be part of a different club and if he takes the math course he goes for a different club say a club on matrix a matrix club and a math magic club and uh, if suppose he has going to cs course he is going to a club called uh, programming club and probably a android club say for example so likewise uh, when you draw this diagrams you can clearly see how things can be formed and how the combinations could work out and in in the meantime i also like you to have a look at what is the monty hall problem i will catch up with this uh, problem uh, if the time permits uh, just have a look at this problem because this problem is quite interesting because of the probability and combinations and the chances of winning a simple game i wish you can take them some time some time to have a look at this problem in the meantime so as we have come up with this uh, counting introduction and uh, today we just saw some basics about uh, the product rule and uh, the sum rule and some applications of it with respect to the bit strings and i wish uh, to share more thought on this aspect especially uh, as we talk about combinations so we talk about we are going to talk about permutations and combinations in our next lecture so until i see you there have a nice time and goodbye